Dogs looks kind of mopey here. Look at him. Yeah, he's <laughs> getting old, buddy. He's getting a little older. He's his age. What a that day! Beautiful. Another beautiful day on the rock. Look at that, that eucalyptus. That is a really nice eucalyptus. That's a gunny eye, I think, to Vericata. There's a Yomani eye beside it there. That one actually survived the 2008, December 2008 cool blast we had the Alaska blaster we call them when Alaska opens her doors up and when you know your garden survives that you got some pretty hardy plants right so all of this stuff went through no problem and uh, that one actually froze down that eucalyptus there but it came back it got so tall I actually cut the tops off but the growth is coming out like crazy but everything did actually pretty good uh, considering it was pretty cold for about a week here during uh, December 2008, but man, is it beautiful. I'm liking this, uh, I'm liking this weather. I was hoping it would rain, but it doesn't look like we're gonna get the rain here in the Gulf Islands. It'll be raining on the mainland, but uh, a lot drier here. All right, guys, happy exotic gardening. Remember, if you don't exotic garden, start an exotic garden, because it's an addiction. Once you start exotic gardening, you will no, not go back to the run-of-the-mill garden plants that every Tom, Dick, and Harry plants around their place. You want to garden, you want a showstopper garden, start loading her up with exotica. That's the way to do her, folks. All right? And it's easy to do. Just do your homework and get the plants that will work in your growing zone. And all of these plants that you see here work in our growing zone. Cheers.